Hello everyone, welcome to Power Automate Tutorial. Today, in this video, you will learn about how you can export your SharePoint list data into CSV file. Hi, this is Krupali from KnowHow Academy. Before going ahead in this video, let me tell you why you should perform this task. Let me explain you with the simple real life scenario. Imagine you are working with a SharePoint list that hold the important data like list of tasks, employee information or the sales information. Over the time, a list will grow and you need to analyze the detailed information which is there inside a list. If list contain small amount of data then it's okay but what if your least data is continuously grow in that case to perform analysis over the list of data it is difficult and it is also difficult to share all this information to others unfortunately sharepoint does not offer robust analysis tool and also using SharePoint list, you cannot easily integrate the information with other program like Power BI or Excel. For that, you require a connector. So how you can solve this problem? So this problem can be solved using Power Automate. So you can export your SharePoint list data into CSV file and that exported file we will use for analysis tool. So let me tell you what you will learn from this video. First, you will learn why you should export your data into CSV file. And second thing, you learn that how you can export your SharePoint list data into CSV file using Power Automate. So first of all, let me tell you why to export data into csv file because csv file is a very lightweight file and the data which is there inside the csv file we can consider it is in a simple format the second reason can be csv file is compatible with other services and the third reason can be whatever data is there in csv file we can perform integration of this data with other tool very easily and last but not the least that in analysis tool if we have data in csv format we can perform our analysis quickly i hope you understand why you should export your data into csv file now let me tell you the second thing how you can export your sharepoint list data into csv file using power automate so let me tell you practically so first of all you need to log in into your power automate account and here there are two ways you can create power automate for this task the first way is that you can design instant cloud flow and the second way is that you can design a flow such a way that it will run over the period of time based on whatever schedule so we will design our flow using schedule so for that you need to click on create and then you should select schedule cloud flow once you are creating a schedule cloud flow you should give a name of the flow let's say i am giving the name is that export data csv okay so over the period of time it will run okay so if my list is updated after some time again data will be exported automatically into csv format so this flow will start execution from today or you can select any other date so this flow will execute at today and not executed today but it will start its execution from today and i want to execute every day at 7 a.m not every day let's keep it as a one month or you can say one week okay you can execute on a daily basis you can execute on monthly basis yearly basis on so on so i want to execute this uh, task on weekly basis on every sunday so i will select that uh, or let's say here i don't want to execute over all the day i want to execute only on saturday 
so you can not saturday sunday sorry so you can see that on sunday every week this flow will execute and i already mentioned the time so let me click on create so flow will be created uh, not completely but the first occurrence that you can say the first trigger is created that is called reoccurrence i don't like the new design so i am switching off this so automatically you will see in all the design so reoccurrence if you select that you will able to see that uh, you can see that every week on sunday it will execute now at what time it will execute let's say i want to execute on utc time zone so i am selecting utc time zone let's say in not indiana actually uh, utc time zone let me select chennai kolkata okay uh, i am not wasting my time to just selecting the time zone uh, uh, i'm just selecting the time zone randomly that is eastern time zone us and canada and you can select the other option like at what hours at what minutes it will execute but i am not selecting that much in detail now what i want i want to first get the data from this sharepoint list so for that you need to select one action that action is called get item action from the sharepoint list so let me click on new step and select get items or you can say search get items now here two things are there get items or get item but i want all the items so for that you need to select get items then you need to select from which sharepoint site you want your data so i want data from this sharepoint site let me just load it and i have created this one site for the personal use so using that i can make demo so i am using know how personal site and what is the name of a list so i want a list that is employee data underscore info so from this sharepoint uh, list i want to ex uh, export the data now sometime you can select the advanced option based on your need let's say i want i don't want to ex export all the data but i want to export the data whose position is xyz so you can select your filter query but here for this per demo i want all the data so i am not putting anything in advanced option let it be as it is so after selecting all the items from the sharepoint list what i want to do i want to paste all this information into csv file so for that one action you need to take that is create csv file action so click on new step and search for create csv here you will see that create csv table actually file is will contain table so for that you need to select create csv table now inside that you need to write from now what is the meaning of that from which item or based on which item you want to create your csv table so whatever items i am getting from previous uh, step i want to create table based on that so if you click that uh, here you will see the add dynamic content and whatever value i am getting from the list of items this is the action so based on that value i want to create a table now the next thing is that show advanced option now here see if my sharepoint list contain 10 column and if all this column i want in my csv file so for that you can select automatic but i want a specific column from the sharepoint list so for that you need to select that and click on custom now here you need to give a column name which you want in your csv table so this header is a name of the column in csv table and these are the respective value for the given column so first of all i want employee id so for uh, here if you click if you click on value here you will able to see the list of column which is there in a sharepoint list so i want id so you can write id and here you can see that this is the employee id column i want then i want first name of the employee first name and give the header to the first name and click on uh, that 
and search for the first name. So here you will see the first name. Here, this is the column name of a SharePoint site. Not site, but SharePoint list. Now the next tip, I want last name. Okay, so her column header in CSV file as a last name. And here, I want last name. So here you will see that. Now after that, I want position and also I want department. So let me quickly select that column. Now I have selected a column which I want and I want one more column in my CSV file which will indicate that this data is exported on which date. Okay, so for that uh, I want one new column that is export data date. Now this column is not there in my SharePoint list. I want to add a dynamic content or you can say the date which is there when uh, data was exporting. So for that I will write expression and inside that I will write one function that is considered it as a power fx function which will get the current date and time. So for that one function is there UTC now. So you can select that. Now, if you write that, you know, all the uh, timings and date will be there in that. But let's say I want only the date. So for that, you can use a format date and time function. So this is format date and time function. You can write it. Then first argument should be what you want to format. So I want to format UTC now. That is today's date. Now, in which format you want? So, let's say I want in a DDMMYY format. So, inside a single quotation, you should write DD, then slash capital MM. If you write small MM, this will consider it as a minute. But capital M is for month. And then I want year. So, then complete the bracket. So, whatever date or whatever exported date is there, it will be there in my CSV table and click on ok so one new column will be there which will contain the exported date so i have created a csv table now what next thing after creating the csv table i want to save that csv file in my one drive or in my other sharepoint site so let me tell you where i want to store i want to save the csv file into my SharePoint site. I want to save in my SharePoint site. So for that, I need to click on new step and search for the action that is create file. Now here you can create file in SharePoint in OneDrive, but I will select create file. Okay, and click on that. So here in first site address, you want to give the SharePoint site name. I want to uh, save this exported file in uh, this know-how personal directory or you can say SharePoint site. Now where you want to save? I want to save it under the shared document and inside that one general folder is there and inside that uh, YouTube data is there. So inside that folder I want to save that CSV file. Now at what file name you want to save? So you can write any file name, but I want to write a file name with the current date and time. So for that, you can write one expression which will concate the file name which you want to write as well as it will concate the current date and time or only date. So for that, you can select the concatenate here and inside that, I want first file name and after that date. So in single quotation, you write file name. Let's say here employee data. Then underscore, I want to write a date. So here I can write format date time and inside that I want uh, the entire date. But for current date, so UTC now and I want in a DDMMYY format. So inside a single quotation, you can select DD, MM and YYY format. And the third thing, you want to give the extension of the file. So inside a single quotation, I write the extension of the file is .csv and click on OK. 
So the file name will be created dynamically with the employee data and its current date of exported data. Okay, and file content what you want. Whatever the output of this, I want as a file content in my file name. So for that, I will select this and click on save. Once it is saved, we can test it. So it is saved successfully. Let me test it manually. So select that and click on test so here it's ready to run now today is 1st october so my file name will be 110 2024 and then whatever the file name which i have given so click on that here my floor failed now what is the reason for that the reason is that create file input as a zero and column zero the template function concatenate not defined or not valid this means that whatever I have written, that may be some error in a concatenate function. So let me remove that. And just for testing purpose, let me write a simple name. Let's say emp underscore data dot uh, csv and save it. Okay. So flow saved successfully. Let me uh, test it. Okay. Uh, by mistake, I click on save again. So let me test it and click on test run flow and click on done so flow is running so it will take some time because so many data are there so here my flow runs successfully now let's check it out whether the file is saved in my sharepoint site or not so let me show you so here i have already opened uh, teams and inside teams i have opened sharepoint site and you can see that under the youtube data folder this employee that is emp data underscore csv is just created a minute before let me open that and here you can see that employee id first name and last name and position everything is mentioned and here you can see that whatever the date is there it is a today's date that is current date it is that i hope you understand that how you can export your SharePoint list data into CSV file. So before ending this video, let me summarize what you have learned from this video. First, you learn why you should export your data into CSV file. And second thing, you learn using Power Automate, how you can export your SharePoint list data into CSV file. Thank you for choosing Know How Academy as a source of your IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world. If you have any question, do not feel hesitate to reach out to us. Stay curious, keep learning.